Here's a short video demonstrating how to leverage a large language model to summarize a document. So in this case, I'm asking it to summarize JP Morgan Chase's Q1 2023 earnings transcript. I have already gone ahead and summarized it. And so what I'd asked uh, the model to do was, hey, uh, give, me, give me some key themes in the transcript and then also provide an oral summary. So, you know, the, the key themes it pulled out were, you know, the obvious ones like the, what was the net income, the EPS, revenue, etc. Uh, it also then, you know, pulled in uh, revenue increased 25% year over year driven by higher rates uh, to the fact that loan demand in the middle market banking sector has decreased due to higher interest rates, etc. And in the end, it, you know, it says overall because I said, give me an overall summary. So, you know, that's what we got. And I think it's overall, it did a pretty decent job. Now, you know, one of the things that drives drives this outcome one of the things is prompting and in this case I provided a pretty straightforward prompt and this is one of the variables we can leverage uh, or change to get a different summarization and then as usual on the left hand side I have a bunch of different options I'll address the first two in a little bit here uh, the other ones uh, you know you may have seen them in my other videos I always like to give an option to choose different models. We went with 3.5 Turbo. Uh, I'd like to, I always like to you know, understand how many tokens did I use up because that's what drives the cost. So in this case, we used basically five cents uh, to do this task. So very quickly, what are the first two things? Well, when we have a large document, in this case, 17 pages long, we cannot feed that into the large language model, most of them, including GPT 3.5 Turbo. So what we have to do is we have to imagine just chop that article, or in this case document, up into smaller parts. So it, we can feed each of the smaller parts into the large language model and then ask it to give us a, a summary of that small part. And then after we collect those small summaries of each of those parts, the model will then give us an overall summary. So the chunk size basically says, well, just how small do you want to chop it up into? Uh, and this chain type, uh, there are you know, different ways to do this, but one of the chain types is map reduce, And th it's just basically a method of how we're asking the middleware to orchestrate the task. Uh, so again, in summary, uh, pretty decent job of summarizing and uh, obviously we can make this you know longer shorter uh, using many different variables